afternoon. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. Please. I may mic you up. There is a huge contrast. We have seen situations in the past few years in which ministers, heads of government in Europe, spent hours, days negotiating where, who should take a hundred people uh, floating on a boat in the Mediterranean. And then, contrary to that, millions um, embraced, accepted, um, allowed to have access to services in a very effective manner. So I'm not naive. I understand the complexity of the flows of people arriving in Europe. I understand also the politics that uh, surround all of these situations. However, my, my position is simple. If that's possible for such a large number of people, and since that has proven so effective, why not use some of these approaches also for other people that are coming to knock at Europe's door? Look, certain declarations that I have heard from some politicians saying the Ukrainians are real refugees. Well, that's correct. They are real refugees. And the others are not real refugees. That's racist, full stop. Now, of course, this doesn't mean that governments have racist policies. But these declarations are racist, create a racist environment, and make it more difficult for governments to find equitable solutions, even if they want it, for other, for other uh, populations. I, I would like also to stress, whilst this is for sure the biggest and most uh, dynamic refugee crisis, it is not the only one. Uh, the, 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 the big problem that we have at the moment is that it tends to marginalize all other crises which, uh, in which people suffer uh, 